Hi, I am Helen de Rooftop Knitter and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this crochet applique inspired in Chase of Paw Patrol. I use it in a hoodie but you can use it in any garment you like or in an accessory. For the big head of Chase we are going to need different colors so that's the only disadvantage that you should have available all colors you need and uh, I downloaded this um, this image from the internet and let's use it as um, as a reference so what I'm going to do is just working in in single crochets and try to replicate this uh, image to start Let's make a slip knot. I'm going to be using this fine crochet hook, 3.5 millimeters. And one, two, three, four, and five. There's no rule to be honest, it's just that we have to replicate this um, these shapes. seems to be alright and then one more stitch and single crochets on top you can use this method with any image not exactly with uh, Paw Patrol Chase just an easy way to to replicate images it's all done in single crochets and embroidery so we have the neck already you see so let's add one more stitch here and what probably two more to this side So to add two or three more stitches, let's say probably three, I think, three to this side and two to this side. So it's one, two, and three, and then one more to raise the job. And then one, two, and three. Then to this side, we have to add probably one or two more stitches. Let's measure it. So probably only one more here to this side. And the way we're going to do it is just um, doing one more single crochet here and then raising the job for another one because we have to do one more for this um, curve and 
and we can easily customize any shape we want to replicate with this method. So let's continue shaping the head. You see? Let's continue shaping the head with this um, sort of pattern, with this image, until we completely, um, we completely crochet this part of the head. You can do the whole head if you want, and you can embroider it. Let's see how, we, how it goes. I have done most of the mouth already, so what I'm going to do now is doing each border of the eye separately. So I'm going to continue with this bit and then with this one after. So let's do it then. Let's do it together so you don't get confused. So raising the job with one chain, then one, two, three and four, measuring it, seems about okay. Raising the job again with one chain, and let's continue with a very long stripe to complete this border. For the last row, for this angle, I'm going to do only two stitches, probably. So let's skip this one. So then one and two. Looks about okay now. So let's cut it. Close it. And continue with the other with the other border for the eye. So let's start from here probably or from here. up to this stitch and then we just continue with this border. We are almost done. For this last bit, I'm going to do one, two, three, and four stitches and finally two. So let's do it again. I'm going to close it here. And then Probably only three and then one. So let's grab a new piece of yarn. So it's one, two, and three here. Three. Let's measure it. I will probably leave it like this. No, no more increases, just like this. So 
So here's the yellow bead for the face. And now let's do probably the brown part. I got here three different colors. So I think this one is the most appropriate. And this one for the nose. So let's start with this one then. Let's start from here probably. Slip knot. One and two, only two stitches for this bit. Then raising the job. One and two. And then a very long stripe and some increases here. At the, at the forehead. So it's tall enough now for the forehead and I'm going to do two increases here to the side. The increases are going to be like raising one and then one stitch here and one more in the same hole to do the increase. Then next one, one single crochet and one more in the same hole for the increase to the other side. Here we go. We have this bit ready. And let's do this bit now. For this bit, a slip knot again. And probably only one, only one here, only one stitch. So it's one change, one to raise the job, and single crochet. Here, probably one each side to open it up. So raising the job. So in this single stitch, because there are no more stitches to, knit, to crochet, one, two, and three stitches in the same hole. Now, probably one more increase here to this side and straight here. So it's one chain to raise a job, then one and two in the same stitch, and the final one and two. It's going to be a straight here and probably one more here. And we will continue like this to fully complete this bit. The pink part, I'm going to do it after. I already completed this, um, this part for the ear and the last bit is going to be closing up this part of the ear, like in a triangle. So for that, I'm going to raise the job with one chain then in the next one, not in this one, the next one, I'm going to do one stitch and the final two are going to be one and two in only one. Last bit, same procedure. And here it is, the pointy ear. Let's finish it up then. And probably the next step would be this little bit. For this tiny bit for the neck, I'm going to start with one, then I'm going to increase to probably two or three, and then finally close with one more. So let's do it together then. So it's one change one to raise the job 
and one single crochet one and two more stitches raising the job one and two stitches and then the last stitch here so that's three and this last bit it would be skipping two stitches one and two and one single crochet here here we go What probably I'm going to do now is joining all pieces we already have. Now with the aid of a yarn needle, let's attempt joining all pieces together. No need to be perfect, has to be something very rudimentary probably, just to keep it organized. So through the back, or probably front is easier. We will uh, cover all these stitches with, um, with the black embroidery later anyway, so no need to be perfect or no need to be very neat in any case. So just joining. As I said, no need to be perfect. It's just um, it's just a way to keep it organized. And this way, we sort of start visualizing visualizing what uh, what the shape of the head is. Let's finish this up with all the pieces we already have for all the yellow ones and the light brown. You see, no need to be perfect. It's something very basic. This is what I got so far. So we sort of uh, kind of start guessing what, what the shape is. And probably the the next step it's doing this bit for the cup. I already got the gray here and I will start probably this way starting from here to end up here. So slip knot again. One and two chain. I think it's about okay. And for this part of the cup, let's do exactly the same what we've done with the rest of the beads. Just um, shaping and customizing the stitches to get the desired shape. Like, uh, probably going towards that way is keeping one and adding one here so it's keeping one stitch and then raising the job and doing two stitches here to this side one and two Then continuing straight. It's 
So we continue giving it shape as it comes, and I will see you here. I roughly made the shape for the for this part of the cup already. So I'm going to attach it here as well with the same method, just with a jar needle and um, and just few stitches. Front of the cup is done, so we do this blue bit then. Let's do the blue bit with the same method. I'm going to do all these um, black embroideries and this yellow one after we complete the, the rest of the pieces. So let's do the blue one now then. So I already completed this blue bit and this pink one for the inner area of the ear using the same method of the single crochets. And now it's time to do them the nose, I think. Using a different method, I'm going to go in circles, not going straight. So for that, I'm going to start with a magic ring, one loop, two entries, I'm pulling a bit. So I'm going to work inside this uh, magic ring. Let's start probably with um, with 12 single crochet. So one chain for raising the job. One, two, three, four, and 12 uh, single crochet. So these are 12 single crochet already. And let's pull the string at the middle to close it a little bit. Now joining the first stitch with the last one, with a slip knot, with a slip stitch, pulling a little bit farther to close it even more. So now, there are three angles in this nose. Probably I will start from here because it's much more pronunciated. And then two small angles here. Since it's, um, it, it's a magic ring of 12 stitches, I'm going to do one angle every four, okay? So let's start then. This is one and two for the lower part of the nose, and then one half double crochet, and another half double crochet. Then one, two, three, and four single crochets. And in the fifth hole, let's do three single crochet in the same hole. Then probably one, two, three single crochet, and here I'm going to do three as well, one, two, and three. And complete the rest of the, of the row with only single crochets. And then just close it. Here we go. Finishing this up. And let's reserve this one for later. I'm going to put this no, nose on top when I'm done with the rest of the job. For the eyes, I want to do something very dramatic. So I will put a small circle on top of this white bead. 
So let's start with the white circle then. Same method. Magic ring, one loop, two entries. And 12 single crochet. After 12 single crochet, let's pull the ring a little bit to close it up. Joining the first stitch with the last one. Pulling. Then one stitch to raise the job and then one stitch on top, one stitch in the next one, two stitches in the next one, then one stitch and two stitches. Let's complete this, the, this row, just alternating one and two single crochet in each hole. This run for the eye is done already, so I'm going to close it. And the last, the last round is going to be in this very bright black to shape it. Okay, so it's going to be one more row in only black. So this is one, two in this one, single, I think it's too thick, so probably I will do only um, slip stitches, look. Just this way, look up. And a slip a stitch. The next one, and a slip a stitch. Following one, and a slip a stitch. Until completing the whole row. Outer area of the eye is done, so look. And now let's start with um, with this black. Let's start an in circle then. One loop, two entries, and one row of single crochet. Now for the eyes, I'm going to show you a different method. I got rid of this um, this blackboard that we did before because I want to show you another method. So I'm going to embroider this um, this light brown to simulate this bit. You can do it with the black as well when you attach it to the face, but I will show you with the, um, with the light brown. So like this, we just embroider it. Filling the gaps around like this. The more stitches we add, obviously, it's going to be fuller and will look nicer. 
Let's just try to make it even. So let's go around the circle until we fully complete the whole round. I'm done with the, with the light brown for the eye. So I'm going to start attaching it now. Since it seems about all right like this. And now I'm going to do all this black bead around the white circle. Now first eye is already attached and um, I, I already inserted the needle. So now to give it a warmer expression because it looks a little weird now. Let's go back like this. And then one, two, three, and four. And pulling. Here we go. Small knot there. Now, going back to the middle and all done. All done for this small uh, dot in the eye. Now for the other eye, it's not completely rounded. It's a little bit like a oval shape. I will show you how to do it. One, two, probably only two, then raising the job and two single crochet. One and two. Now here right in the corner, let's do three stretcher three stitches in the same hole. You will turn around, then one more to this side, and the final single crochet here. So now, let's raise the job again, turning around, one single crochet, another single crochet, one more, and here in the semicircle, let's add the stitches as they come to turn around. So this is one, and then two here, then finally finishing this up. Here we go. Actually, I would do it only up here. Only up here. And then just close it. Much better. Let's use the same method for this eye as well to do the the black bead and the brown and then attaching it up plus the dot here 
next step is embroidering all these um, all these black beads in the picture. So we show you how to do it. This is one stitch and going backwards. You have to go around the um, the borders of the picture and then going backwards, going a little bit up front. Small stitch here, you see it? And then going backwards. And a little bit farther here to the front. Let's continue doing it until fully completed all the black beads. It's almost done. The last bit we have to crochet is this collar. I will do it just here on top. I think it's much easier. It's just a um, few rows of single crochet. We go. We just crochet them on top. No, no need to do anything additional. And we just complete few rows of uh, of black for this um for this necklace this is the end of the tutorial i hope you like it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next time bye